All right, guys, so we have big news for Global Dokkan. As you guys can see, May 15th is going to be big for Global. This is a tweet by Renzi. Obviously, a lot of you guys know, you know he is the owner of DBZ Space. He created it. Uh, and down here, he is pointing out what it is. So what we have is apparently the Universal Survival Arc, the second part, uh, is scheduled to go live on Global on the 15th. Now, this isn't 100% confirmed info. You know, a lot of this stuff is, you know, could change. Like, let's go ahead and take... How long ago was this tweet, by the way? Uh, okay, just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, nothing official to be taken, you know, with a grain of salt. Turn on power date could change right now, May 16th. Now, the reason this is big is because along with this event, this is the second Universal Survival Arc story event. There is a third one that comes with Jiren's Dokkan Awakening. I don't think that will drop on Global at the same time, you know, with Blue Vegeta, the shit that just happened on JP. So what Global could get here is Ultra Instinct Goku's Dokkan event, the Turn of Power story event, and then all of these cards will come. So you have the Ultra Instinct Goku Dokkan event, which awakens Ultra Instinct Goku, the SCR Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the AGL Super Saiyan God Goku, the SCR Super Saiyan God Goku. Then you also have medals from the event, which can awaken Khalifla, Kale, Kefla, and Kabe. And then there's two free-to-play units, which you can farm up, Kale and Khalifla. And then there will be two new cards on the banner as well, uh, which are an Android 18, who, as it turned out when her Dokkan Awakening dropped, that Android 18 is one of the best cards. Definitely the best Android 18 in the game, and definitely a very, very solid card. So this banner, in my opinion, like, its value jumped up a lot, because all of these cards are good. Uh, all of them. Every single one on this banner. So if you are missing a lot of, or all of these cards, this is a big summon. This does make a lot of sense to me. That they're going to put uh, Ultra Instinct Goku's banner uh, a little bit before the three-year anniversary uh, to try and get people to summon. I mean, I suppose, like, there's a chance this isn't actually going to happen, though. Because, obviously, Ultra Instinct Goku is Dokkan Awakening carries with it the transformation mechanic. So, that's usually something they don't do. I hope this doesn't turn into a to-be-released type situation. I, I can't imagine they would do that again. So I guess this would just mean that the transformation mechanic would come a little early on Global Dokkan uh, before LR Super Vegito and Super Gogeta come out. Uh, so it looks like the... Oh, did the these not load? Okay, just this one did not load. All right, so of course we have Ultra Instinct Goku himself. Very good Realm of Gods category leader. Very powerful unit. Not much to say about him. Uh, the SCR Super Saiyan Blue Goku is pretty good. Uh, attack and defense, 90%. And then when facing two or more enemies, he gets an additional 50% attack. So he's quite powerful, prepared for battle unit. Uh, on the Pure Saiyan category, as well as the Realm of Gods category. Uh, the AGL Super Saiyan God Goku is very good. Because he is on the Universal Survival Art category team. As well as the Realm of Gods team. And then eventually the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, I would say that the SCR Super Saiyan God Goku is a little better. Because he has First Awakened, which will link up with Ultra Instinct Goku. But the Super Saiyan God Goku, the AGL one, is on the Universal Survival Arc as well. Whereas the SCR God Goku is not on that category. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa basically just gets her attack buff up to 90%. Her dodging chances remain the same. But she does get tremendous uh, counter-attacking power rather than enormous. So that's a bonus. Uh, Kale becomes very good because she no longer lowers her own defense. She only lowers the defense of opponents. Attack 120%. An additional which has a great chance which should be about a 70% chance to become a super. So she is very good. Uh, this didn't work again. All right. So we have Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, who becomes a lot better because uh, after her Dokkan Awakening, she only needs to get uh, any kind of orb to increase her attacking and defensive power rather than just specifically physical type orbs. Uh, the other thing that happens is she is also Super Saiyan 2, so you can run her alongside her previous form, although I don't really think there's much of a need for that. Uh, we also have... Why does this keep doing this? We also have this Super Saiyan 2 Kabe, who is very good, but on the Universal Survival Arc team. On the Universal Survival Arc team, he basically will have a 50% chance to crit, making him quite good for a free-to-play unit. 
Uh, this Kale is pretty good for the Universal Survival Arc team as a filler option, a pretty good support type unit. Uh, you also have the SCR Khalifa, who can get a higher chance to dodge in the AGL one with 60%, but not quite as much attack with only 80% there. Uh, and then, of course, you have Jiren. This is what he'll be like when he drops on Global. I don't think his Zilkan Awakening will come at the same time. It probably will come along with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta like it did on JP. But he's still very good just like this. Uh, but obviously, once he awakens, he does become better. He is also the Universal Survival Art Category Leader. And then Android 18 is solid, but she becomes a lot better once she Dokkan Awakens because she is able to increase her attack and defense with every orb, and she gets just a flat uh, attack and defense 70%. I 100% of this Android 18, she's good enough. I 100% of Jiren, he's good enough. Uh, I 100% of Ultra and Goku, AGL Godku. This is a very impressive batch of units, and if this really is happening on Global on May 15th, prepare yourselves, because that shit is going to be fucking hype.